Hello, all my Aries friends, and thank you for joining me today on Indigo Goddess 1111. I've been gone for a couple weeks um, when dealing with an illness of my own, um, so I do apologize, and hopefully we can get back on schedule here. This is your general and love reading for the week of January 4th through the 11th, 2018. I hope you guys all had a beautiful holiday and are enjoying the new year. So, Spirit Angels, what messages do you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the month or in the week of January 4th through the 11th, 2018? What do they need to know? What do they get to know? Whoa. We're going to throw those back in because that was way too many. I'm doing a little bit different spread this month, too, so we'll go through that here in a second. I'm using the Master Deck of Tarot, and I'll be clarifying with the Vice Versa Deck. Ooh. Okay. So the first card represents um, your work um, area in your life and with the star in reverse. So you could be disappointed. Um, I'm getting a group of you um, may have been passed up for a promotion um, or you didn't get the job that you were hoping for. Um, others of you may be struggling with a business that you have started. Um, the second card is your home area. It reflects people and activities um, that are connected with your home life. And this is the magician. So pretty much whatever it is that, right now, Aries, you can manifest it. Whatever it is, you're going to be successful at it. Um, you know what you got to do and you're going to do it. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, but things are changing for your household, I feel. Um, the third card in the spread is uh, the unexpected. So it indicates surprises and unexpected events. So somebody may be choosing or be making you aware that they are leaving. Could be leaving a job, um, no longer wanting to be on the same career path. Um, they could be... There's so many things here, but they are just... They're unsure of what, what to do at this point in their life. Um, your role as Aries is the King of Swords. So this represents your moods, actions, reactions to events, people, etc. So you are just kind of pushing everybody away. You are kind of being the cold, hard um, ruler that the King of Swords represents. Um, you ha you're having a lot of thoughts in your head. And you're just kind of trying to push everybody away right now while you're trying to figure shit out. The outcome, this shows the outcome of uh, your week. It often predicts a lesson um, learned or a spiritual revelation. So you are filled with anxiety, um, depression, uh, thoughts in your head that you can't seem to escape. Um, just really, <coughs> really in your head about a lot of things. So let's clarify here. What's the star numbers here for Aries? Oops. Okay, the four of swords. So you um, really need to reflect and take <coughs> take some time to Really decide what you want to do, where you want to go, what path you want to take, and what are, what are you not completing in order to get your wish come true? What needs to be done? And um, Spirit is also saying that you know what has to be done, but you're dragging your feet for some reason. So... Yeah, you got a lot of a lot of things on your mind, a lot of burdens you're carrying, Aries. Um, a lot of the responsibility. Okay, so like I said, clarifying your work card 
is the Four of Swords. So um, just take the time to really reflect and uh, maybe take a small vacation, a couple days off. You're get, For a group of you, you're getting burnt out at work. Um, the Magician here is clarified by the Magician in reverse. So I'm going to pick another card and you get the Knight of Swords in reverse. So there may be um, some manipulation going on here and in the home, somebody that you're dealing with, you could, like I said, you could be dealing with a Virgo or an air sign, but somebody is being manipulated and into doing something that they wouldn't necessarily want to do. And they're going to move on. Um, whether this be in a job or whatever situation this fits into, but you know, your role is look at all these bur burdens you're carrying. You have too much on your shoulders. You're carrying all the weight of everybody and all the stress of everybody. And that's clarified also with the Nine of Swords being clarified by the Knight of Swords. Lots of thoughts. Look at all these swords. I think they're all, they are all swords. So a lot of thinking going on. Um, you have the King, the Knight, and then the Four, the Six, and the um, Page. All swords. So, um, Aries, you're really up in your head this week about everything. Your whole, everything in your life right now. Can I get an Outlook card? Oops. Can I get a Outlook card for Aries for the week? What can their future Outlook be? Okay. Oh, nice. So, the Ace of Pentacles is your overall, um, outlook of the week. So there are new beginnings coming. There are, there is a gift from the universe. Um, hang in there. Um, you will be rewarded as the wheel turns for all the hard work that you put in and, um, easier said than done, but try not to be too, too much up in your head, Aries. Um, with all the holidays just ending and Everything, everyone's just kind of overwhelmed, I think. But getting back to the regular day-to-day, -day, we're still in Mercury retrograde. And boy, can I tell. Not my favorite time of the year for sure, but it's okay. So we're going to do Aries singles first. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? In relation to love, what do our single Aries need to know for the week of January 4th through the 11th, 2018? Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, so your central issue is the sun. So no matter what way the sun is, is in the sky, it's always here to warm us, to help us grow. Um to nurture us, um, you know, it provides for us without sun, we wouldn't have food, etc. you know, so with this card, it's just saying, no matter what has gone on in the past, no matter what has happened, there is hope, every day we get to start the day over again, and, um, and so don't, don't give up hope, um, in the past, you had the six of wands in reverse, so, um, very, um, kind of like dominant, like not dominating, but restrictive energy around you, um, making you feel almost restricted. And then you have the Knight of Swords in reverse and very dominating, very, um, like you didn't have much freedom. There's your card in reverse, the Emperor with the Three of Wands, just a uh, possible third party. And now somebody's just, somebody's trying to get your attention, Aries. Um, you have the five of wands and the high priestess in reverse. So, um, use your intuition, use your gut, use that gut feeling to your benefit. Um, because you can figure this out yourself, but they are trying, they are coming back for you. Single Aries that just recently had a relationship end. They are coming back for you. Um, it was very, it ended in quite, quite a brutal way with the seven of pentacles. Um, but they are now coming to you and saying that they're going to take three down to two. There is no one else. They are eliminating the competition. Um, they also could be watching you from afar. 
uh, trying to keep tabs on you now that you guys are split up. So just be aware of that. We have kind of that stalker energy around you, Aries. So, um, but I don't see you taking this partner back due to past hurts and everything you guys have been through. But um, we're, we are creature of our free will. So um, that is up to you. But Spirit is saying that they haven't changed, but they can put on an act. So whoever that message is for, that that's for you. So Sagittarius, or Sagittarius, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus couples exclusively dating and married. What messages do you have for them? Oh, that was quick. Okay. So you have the Ten of Wands as your overview card, um, your central issue. So very passionate, very, um, in this deck, they don't care. They are just into each other and it doesn't matter what else in this world is going on. So very cool energy. Um, Two of Wands is in reverse and so is the Four of Pentacles. So could be dealing with an earth sign. Um, yeah, definitely could be dealing with an earth sign. There was at one time three of you, um, but as you see in this card, the devil's sneaking away here as she's with her partner. So, um, unfortunately, either you, Aries, or your partner could possibly have that third party um, behind your back. But you're going to find out the truth. Either you or them, the Queen of Swords, it's going to all come out and... Yeah, you got your seven of cups in reverse. So, um, think <clears throat> whoever this air sign is is going to figure it out. Whether you have air in your chart, Aries, or this is your partner, it is going to come to light. Um, the sun card is here, and when that is in a spread like this, I see it coming to light. So, secrets are going to be revealed. Um, the affair is going to come to light, causing the ten of cups to be in reverse. Um, cause somebody is walking away. Most definitely we have the justice card here and the 10 of pentacles. So, um, Aries, either you or your partner are walking away from this commitment and they are going to choose to be single. We have the lovers in reverse. Yep. With the tower. So yeah. Um, unfortunately there are, um, relationships ending in that spread. I'm sorry. I hate being the Debbie Downer of the love spreads, but a lot of third parties going on right now. And with karmic partnerships um, ending, so twin flame unions can come into um, union. It's just, it's like a, a huge, <laughs> huge um, shift in relationships. So hang in there. It will get better. Um, I see you both moving on from this just fine and into places where you are meant to be by the universe. So I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thank you again for coming to my channel, for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Without you, I would not be here and able to do what it is I love. So um, sending all the love and the light in the world and God bless.